E bentornati e benvenuti qua ragazzi in questo Fashit del Farming Simulator 22, ovvero anzi 25, dove saremo qui per vedere questo diciamo Fashit Farmcom eh, del 25 che inizia fra 10 minuti ragazzi, quindi direi che ci vediamo un po' di suspense o suspense tra un pochetto, quindi rimanete sintonizzati ragazzi. Mancano ancora pochi minuti ragazzi prima della presentazione e del lancio di questo Farmcom Gameplay, vediamo come sarà, dovrebbe partire adesso Ed eccoci qua ragazzi Dai che ci siamo Olè Hello everyone, welcome to the FarmCon pre-stream I'm Kermit Ball, with me is Martin Rabble I'm here in Europe uh, getting ready for FarmCon We just revealed Farming Simulator 25 uh, Martin, maybe we can show the people some more today? What do you have for us? Yeah, I know you you always ask me if you can show the people a few things before and I know that you people like to see more and yes, I mean, I brought a few things, carefully selected them for you to show before we actually reveal a bit more at the weekend. Mm, so nice. follow our social channels um, after the weekend and during the weekend you will also see exactly. more things coming out of um, Farming Simulator 25. Um, but you mentioned it already, um, we've announced the game on June 25th. Mm. Yes, okay. It's going to come out in November 12th. And we had a really nice cinematic trailer. Oh, it was great. How was the feedback? The feedback was great. You know, I think it excited a lot of people, but of course they want to see more, right? So uh, I know. that's why I had to come bug you and then and hopefully we can show the people some more. And they want to see in-game footage, right? Right, yes, yeah. of course, uh, always. But first we're going to show you the trailer again and then we're going to show you a bit of in-game footage. Okay, let's start the trailer. Mi fanno rivedere il trailer, raga. Torgo la web. All around the world, farmers know farming is an art. Like life, we know it can be hard. And it can be surprising, too. But sometimes it's about being at the right place at the right time. man once said that the best lessons are learned under the wide open sky. I think the same thing can be said about our art. Yeah, it can be messy, but it's always beautiful. So beautiful it can help you see yourself and the world in all new ways. The art of farming, the soil is the canvas, the seeds are the paint, and the harvest is the masterpiece. Sempre a vederlo, sempre tanta roba, raga. Hey, this is pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty darn good. Is it missing something? You're 
Bellissimo ragazzi. All right, that was awesome. That's why people are excited. I think we've been telling the story right through these uh, last few trailers with the same characters. Now we're bringing Io non sono inglese raga. Environment. An Asian map is going to be a huge thing uh, for the first time and and rice as well that we've already mentioned before Martin. Uh, what else do we have today? Like, uh, you know, what oh, you, you really want to know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Vediamo se parlano qualcosa di di farming per l'appunto. Farbcom. And we're going to have a few highlights um, there. Right. And Anche loro se non sono come me che non sanno dove guardare, raga. No more about is the giant's engine. Right. Uh, Stefan Zeiger, our CTO is going to present um, the upgrades to the giant's engine which the game is based on at Farmcon. Lui soprattutto, eh. Già in seguito, già già in seguito. Okay. Really looking forward to visto, ragazzi. Um, ah. you know that that add a lot of atmosphere just wait until you see. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. Um, Because now the, the cool thing is that it's actually like, like particles in the air. Right. So that gives a lot of opportunities. You know, you can have like Comunque, dense fog, um, it has, has dynamic accumulation in, in valleys. So mm -hmm. where it's supposed to be, right. you know, not just like uh, at a global parameter on the map. And that fog Comunque also solito, enables oh. that you have the sun reflecting you know, in, in the fog. It's hard to describe, but I mean, you, you see it later when I show you these, these right. videos. You can imagine. I, I think guess. that, like, yeah. you, I can get a picture in my head for sure. I think the visuals that that sets already, uh, it's, it's kind of painting the picture. You think about what a farming landscape can look like in the fog, and uh, I hope that's uh, what we're going to yeah. see. Let's... Do you know what God rays are? Oh, yeah. It's a, <laughs> well, first of all, it's a really cool term uh, in gaming. But yeah, the, you get the light like shining through, you get that like beam of light coming through. And I, I'm guessing that with the fog that you're talking about, that, that kind of allows the, the God rays to exactly. shine through then. Bello, la nebbia. Finalmente. Long time. I venti and atmosferici, raga. Kind of I venti atmosferici. Il sole, riflesso della luce, tipo. Le onde, il rumore dell'acqua. Un esempio di tanti altri farming, cioè di tante altre cose che ci saranno. I rumori. Wow. Incredibo. Fasci di luce. Yeah. Actually, something that I really was looking forward to is also like what you just mentioned the distance for if an animal right. makes it look way more realistic. The, the things in the back, I mean, just yeah. look at this like with the lights as well, the way the lights uh, react with it, like you were yeah. saying with the volumetric lighting as well. It, it used to be that like just the building or the signs Ma? would illuminate the ground, but now you can actually see both like the tractor in the distance, the lights on the buildings, uh, all creating that, that awesome look with the lighting of the fog. Yeah. We're gonna have a closer look at it uh, quickly. I mean, it's almost done. Easy, also, like that looks really nice. Like this, this fog in the morning over the fields. This is, this is gonna look really good when you play the game. Oh, I mean, it, there's just that nice feeling, isn't it? Like when you wake up in uh, real life and you kind of see that fog setting in and it's a nice cool morning and maybe you have a cup of coffee. This is kind of the feeling that that this is giving me, you know, that, yeah. that nice morning when you wake up, but then you gotta go to the work on the fields, right? <laughs> and do some farming too. Yeah, but right. the scenery is lovely. Let me go back to that one scene. I mean, there are like a few that are really like, I mean, this for example. Yeah, I mean, this is, that's <laughs> like this typical God race example, you know. That's uh, so cool. You got cool. the tree, the light comes through the tree and with a tiny bit of fog in the air, you, you can see it shining through. Yeah, that's lovely. And I mean, it's coming through like multiple trees there too, which yeah. is impressive. And it's just adding to the atmosphere, I would say. It's going to be, I think it'll be challenging to, to drive in some of this fog at night. Be careful out there, everybody. I stopped that here. So what do you notice there? <laughs> well, Come on. I notice, I notice the building, the lights uh, illuminating it and the fog is kind of sticking out. But uh, what are you trying to lead me towards? What am I? What am I? Yeah, what at? you just mentioned is that, uh, <laughs> that not just the building is being illuminated, but also the, the air now, you know, that's it's also part of the fog, um, the volumetric lighting that uh, also it does not just from the sun, it's also the local lights that right. are actually 
um, giving that effect. Yeah, it so. looks really cool. I mean, it, it just adds more depth uh, to, to the look and feel of the game, I would say. What other shadows can you think of? Uh, well, I know that we have cloud shadows, maybe? Penso que like uh, from, from the air, if the clouds are there, right? Is that where you're leading? It's me? almost like you knew it already. Yeah. <laughs> no, of course, I mean, we told you about it, but now I can show it to the you and also our audience there. Oh, I want to see it. There's not much to say, right? I mean, you know what cloud <laughs> shadows are. Clouds, sun, shadows on the ground, atmosphere. So now they're like, they're more broken up. It's, it's almost like each individual cloud is creating its own shape it's, and its shape is creating the shadow on the ground, which is adding another little bit of a uh, nice little touch to the visuals of the game as you see it coming over. Of course, you have to have clouds in the sky yeah. for this to work, right? But it's cool to see them like have their own individual character because not every cloud is the same shape, right? They're all different. So. Yeah, exactly. But of course, you know, when this is like dynamically created. So when you have a cloudless sky, you're not going to have shit. So don't send any bug reports because you don't have shadows on a, you know, <laughs> on a, uh, like on a, a sunny blue, day. bright blue sky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, there's one more thing I want to show you okay. uh, from the Giants Engine 10. We got, you know, like I said, we've got several improvements, but of course, all like the, the, the general overall performance optimizations. There are a few things in there that we've done so that we can render more efficiently. Okay. And that opens up a few opportunities. And one that I think will look really cool is um, that some of the most important things in the game, they will just you know, look better again. You know, <laughs> I want like, to see it. What do you have for us? Yeah, so we got a few looks at um, trees and crops. Okay. You know, they, they're going to look like, they're going to have more volume. They're right. gonna, also going to look nicer in the distances. So, okay. um, so like you can see here, these like the trees, and you can see the branches, um, more volume. And uh, I will also yeah, show you. Yeah, this looks you. lovely. I mean, uh, so there's something I think that uh, I heard about this where like, we now have different ways that the like trees and the crops can face, right? I think the term is billboards. Billboards, right? Yeah. Uh, so what that word means basically is that now like there's there's different ways that the trees face. Is that right? Like, am I understanding it right? So it looks better in the distance because it doesn't look like they're all. Yeah, it's like the there's same. a certain distance, and at some point um, you're gonna reduce you know the details of the tree, and we're gonna have like more variations okay. there now in the distance. So they. Um, in, in a nutshell, <laughs> trees in the distance will also look way better than before. Right. You can kind of like start to see it already uh, where you have it paused here, where um, the trees in that distance even already uh, look like it looks fuller, right? And the crop as well in the foreground looks the same too. Uh, what like, can you go back a little bit? I think there was even like a, a wider shot of trees in the distance back a little bit farther, I think. Uh, or maybe I'm thinking, you, you can kind of see it there. Maybe I'm there in the of, back. Yeah. yeah, like just tiny little bit in the back that you can that you can catch in that photo. So this is great. Uh, I mean, I think that we we always get these kinds of comments, you know, like we want to see like a little bit more depth in the background. We want to see a little bit more depth in mm. the crops as well. So this is exactly what this is adding. Yeah, this is something we have really been working on. Yeah. Vediamo adesso cosa ci diranno. Riverbend Springs is the US map. It has more than 70 fields in the game. Okay. Of course, you know. <laughs> uh, but you might not know, Kermit, is that um, on the map, there's a road that spans like the whole map. Okay. So you, just, cool. you can just drive through it. I heard that's kind of an American thing. Long roads. You <laughs> oh, know, yeah. You like wide those long open roads areas. in the country, right? Yeah. yeah. It's feeling like home already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, been in Europe for a week, so, you know, any slice of home is welcome. Yeah, so you can also have a look at like the trees, of course, uh, like we mentioned, like the trees in the distance. Right. Also, look at the hood of the tractor, the, the reflections oh. there. This is also new. I'm like looking at the landscape yeah. and uh, you point that out and that's uh, impressive. Now I'm distracted. I'm not even looking at the map. <laughs> I'm looking at the reflection in the, the hood of the tractor there. That's looking lovely already, Martin. I, I quite like that. So, yeah, glad you like it, but we haven't seen there yet is like one of these, the key themes of the whole map. Maybe okay. It's called Riverbend Springs. Oh, let me guess. Um, Some water, huh? Yes, of course. <laughs> there's a lot of water on the map and there's one river that's like the, the main topic of it. So the whole, um, the whole life on that map that evolves around that river. Yeah. You know? So everything is kind of river-based, water-based there. 
Uh, you're going to have uh, creeks, also ships, and there's also going to be a ferry. Okay, Let, so. let's, let's see the video. Just show me already. I want to see this. Oh, look at this. This is kind of giving me like uh, vibes of being inspired by, you know, Mississippi River, the Mississippi River Network, some of the offshoots. Uh, of course, rice is a big crop in that area, the rice belt of the U.S. in uh, Arkansas, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. So kind of maybe inspired by all of that. Uh, it, you can use this ferry, right? Can you drive your tractor on the ferry? Yeah, you oh, can use it. That's cool. Here's a creek that we see again, another water feature. Water, as you said, playing a very important role in this map. And look the at the God like, rays again. The God the rays, the reflections on the water look really cool. And, and they're actually fitting like what's in the landscape. You can see this tree right here on the right and the reflection. You can even see the uh, crossings there. I think that's like a railroad crossing up above on, on the shore. And it, even some fog now, too. So all of these things we've been talking about leading up to this video already are shown right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking really good. Let's have a look at the ferry again, just because we mentioned okay. that it's a big part. Right. So to cross the river, you know, you need bridges. Ci fanno right? vedere di nuovo ferry in that case, il punto. You know? This so is cool. This is going to be something new that you can use. I can't wait to see uh, see how people are, are going to utilize this this ferry. This is really cool because this is this is a real part of agriculture and having this in the game is a nice touch, I think, especially water. for this uh, kind of area oh. of the U.S. that it's inspired by. Yeah. You have anything else? What else do you got for us? I do have, I mean... You're uh, bringing all the goodies out today. Uh, you know, you also need to get some work done. Uh, <laughs> so not just, you know, top on the ferry and cross the river. Or, right. uh, Attention, and, ragazzi. You know, Attention. Eh? The water um, to get some work done. You know, you need some like dealers to actually buy the tractors uh, um, you need gas station animal dealers to buy yeah. your animals um, you and, need the machines to do yeah. it right so we got a nice area there um, that I want to show you so that's like all in one place it's a central location uh, where you can buy yeah. them gas um, buy your machines you and of course we're going to have a lot of machines in the game again we're going to have more than 400 authentic nice. machines from over 150 licenses brands right? and cool here you know we just show you a bit like the wait a minute is, is that animals in the pen at the animal dealer i just wanted to tell you <laughs> yes you can see the animals before nice. you buy them uh, that's a nice know, little touch no cat in the back <laughs> yeah here's some uh, sheep that we're driving by you can see that's really cool, and I like how like uh, even the dealer and, and the gas station, like that area, it has that same like kind of small town, like rural America feel. Gas station. Um, because oh, it wasn't like a big industrial animal dealer. It was like, you know, it was a smaller one, right? Like you feel, yeah. you really feel the impact of what the map is supposed to be from that. That's cool. I really yeah. like that. Glad you like it. Hope you guys like it too. And of course, I mean, Send all your feedback in. Uh, Kermit's gonna read it. You're gonna <laughs> answer to every single post. Un feedback, mi raccomando, we ragazzi. We can. We, we're loving the feedback already. Definitely send us the feedback. We hope that you're excited, as Martin said, and uh, we'll continue to show you as much as we can. What else we got uh, to excite <laughs> the people? Give me more, Martin. Well, you know, we have farming. Like, like, ragazzi. Animals, right. Um, but of course, we're also gonna have forestry in the game again. Okay, cool. Um, it's been a big part in the recent games already and we've just gonna improve on that I mean like I told you the trees are gonna look more right. voluminous several billboards different sizes they're gonna look better from the distance and overall I mean the forest is just gonna look amazing I, I, I know I'm repeating myself <laughs> I mean it's this is just that's right. the feeling I'm getting too though right now like all of this stuff is pretty amazing a lot of this stuff is what people have been asking for, right? Like, set the scene a little bit more because farming, uh, you're really connected to, to the nature, to the ground around you and the nature around you, right? So adding that a little bit of extra feel of like really being immersed in the environment is great. I, I hope, like Martin said, I hope you like it. I think you will. It's, it's looking awesome already. So uh, I see another video. Yeah. That's what I want I'm going to start it now. Okay. The forest. Yeah, you can Primo video see senza tree, taglio, ragazzi. Uh, again, we've talked about this a couple of times, but the trees definitely feeling like they have more depth. Even like the individual limbs 
are providing a little bit of extra de depth. And uh, what are, these pathways, uh, Martin, uh, there was Ci sono fermi sulle piante. Earlier mm. that we showed a, a motorbike, right? Yeah. That we hinted at. This doesn't look like a, a path really for a big machine. This looks like maybe some paths for a motorbike. Yeah, I mean, some smaller tractors also fit on there, of course. Right, but but uh, it's going to be more fun, fun right? to drive that with a motorbike. <laughs> yeah. But look at this, like, even this, like, little flower right here, uh, this purple one. Uh, I don't know the uh, all my flowers, you know. I no, la solita that torre. Even, that even oh, had more cute. detail too, yeah. right? Like it, it even feels Vabbè. fuller, which is really nice. And then of course you. Oh, the viewpoint, yeah. Yeah, the viewpoint. It's gonna be must be a nice view there. Yeah, maybe uh, this is like the it. highest part of the map. Uh, I would assume on this hill. La um, solita torre. And if I can climb that, I want to see <laughs> what the entire map looks like, right? Maybe that's where people will go first yeah, when they play. This is something that we're not going to show you today. You have to see oh, that for yourself. Darn it. You have to be there. You're not going to show me everything, huh? Okay, well. No, I got something special for you, something really important. I mean, the machines and the gameplay Ooh, of the game. Nice, yeah. okay. And I got an expert for that, uh, Stefan Maurus, our uh, oh, yes. gameplay program and lead integrator. Mm -hmm. All right, Stefan, uh, you, you're here. I have a feeling that you have something really good for me. What do you have? Yeah, I prepared something really special. So it's like the Ooh. first gameplay of the new game. Okay. Um, yeah, I picked uh, a special um, gameplay feature now okay. um, for the stream. So it's about your eyes. Of course. But of course we will reveal um, some more stuff on, on the weekend. Right. Um, but yeah, I picked the rise um, because it's also um, introducing some new gameplay mechanics. Yeah. So it's not just a new crop like like weed or so, so it's a bit more um, in depth. I, our players yeah. are excited about this. So yeah. I think they're sitting there like, please, Stefan, Kermit, <laughs> give us more. So go ahead, tell us uh, what you have for us. Yeah, so let's jump right into um, the, the gameplay I recorded. Okay. Um, mm, so cosa vedo, ragazzi? Beautiful map. Mm. Um, Poi tutto il resto. Uh, as you showed earlier in the stream. Um, yeah, I got here some greenhouses. So, so that's... What's some, this? It's something different. Um, so first, we, we got two different rice types. So okay. that's the first rice type. Um, and that is transplanted. So you grow the saplings until they are like 10 centimeters high or so. Okay. And after that, you got a special planter that plants those saplings into the real field. So we That's first cool. grow those saplings in the greenhouse. Okay. And yeah, then we bring the pellets of saplings um, to our planter and then we start planting. So yeah, we jump right into the field. Okay. Um, so that's our planter. Um, it's from Izeki. Um, and yeah, let's load the, the saplings we brought with our fence. Oh, how the cool. Loader. It's a really cool animation. I mean, this machine's so cool to me because it's unlike anything we already have in the game, right? I mean, yeah, it's completely new. Yeah. So, yeah, and also you will see the planting animation, which is pretty nice. So I spent some time there to, to implement <laughs> it nicely. Um, good, good. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's drive into the field. Uh, you will also see the water. Um, it looks lovely. Like I just saw a glimpse of the sun even like reflecting off yeah, of the water. Yeah, and especially if you drive into it, you see really um, how the water um, is reacting to the wheels. Um, so right. You see the, the small waves, that looks really nice. This, this machine is just so cool. I mean, it's so funky looking, um, but like the technology behind this yeah. is super impressive. I yeah. want to see what it looks like once it actually yeah, starts you, putting you it in the ground. You see the, the parts at the back, they're really special because they're yeah, picking each sapling from, from oh, look the, at the, the, the pellets. Uh, which looks pretty nice. Oh, yeah, so it's like move. It's almost like a typewriter. It's yeah, like yeah, moving it's to the side, the, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> and if you zoom in in detail, um, you will also have that. Yeah. Um, a bit later on the field. Yeah, it has grown. Um, and also, you see the water has is gone. So normally, for for planting those transplanted saplings, um, you need water in the field. Okay. And then during growth, um, the rice consumes the water because it really needs um, the water uh, for growing. And after it has really needs um, the water uh, for growing. And after it has grown, um, you, um, you, um, yeah, the water gets less and less. And, and um, while harvesting, there's no water anymore. Okay. So um, here we got our Iseki um, rice harvester for this rice type. Um, it's also a pretty nice harvester. 
Um, so another new brand, uh, of course, uh, or this the, this machine at least, yeah, right? this machine, oh. yeah. yeah, yeah, it's something completely new. Um, so this is the Asian. Is this fair to say this is the Asian style of harvesting we're using? Yeah, this machine, yeah, right? exactly. So okay. they do mostly with um, those kind of harvesters, uh, but we'll see how how. Okay, yeah, Americans do it later on. No, um, let me just let me just point something out because okay, the the rice harvesting Stefan is really cool, but I think everyone else a, as well as me might notice something in the bottom right corner uh, that uh, maybe we've been asking for for a while. The players oh. see GPS. Uh, do I don't see that. You, you don't <laughs> see that. Uh, okay, well we do. Um, hopefully. You're going yeah. to show us more? Maybe I know you're giving yeah, the, this talk in depth at FarmCon, Yeah, right? on, the, on the weekend I will give a more depth talk, um, a bit longer, a bit more gameplay, and maybe now, some now more Now we're going to have everyone <laughs> wishing they could be at FarmCon with that one announced. So just that little teaser. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Amazing. So we, we saw also this, this pretty nice harvest animation of right. the Iseki. So it's, um, yeah, how, how the, the plants go through the harvest is kind of special. Um, as you can see, they are um, yeah going along the side, so so that looks pretty nice as well. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. How, it, like you said, it comes up like, is that like a conveyor belt that it's like feeding it? Then yeah, back? yeah, that's really of. cool. Yeah, that, yeah, I mean that animation looks pretty nice. Yeah. All yeah. right, well, we've seen it the Asian way. I have a feeling. Uh, we got some. You've some... got something else. You've, yeah. I want to see it the American <laughs> way, of course. Uh... So the American way is of course <laughs> a bit bigger. <laughs> right. So we got here our um, CR11. Okay. Um, combined from New Holland. Um, so we already showed that on, on the last Agri Technica. We had there a little teaser. Right. Um, but it's a pretty nice combine. It looks pretty nice. Yeah. Um, and this one we, we are using for our um, US style rice. So you've got just a normal harvester. Okay. Um, so yeah, that, that rice is also growing on a rice field which need to be flooded. Okay. Um, but you plant it with a regular seeder. Right. So, so it's kind of. Yeah, similar to to wheat or something. Right. Um, but you still need the water to to have it grow. Um, right. Because yeah, rice consumes a lot of water. Alimito. Um, so so it's there a bit bit different. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think the flooded fields we like showed a little bit like in the cinematic trailer too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, exactly. The CR11, the CR11, by the way, uh, everyone out there watching, you can get the gold edition the, uh, the video, version of this if you get the collector's edition, or if you uh, buy it. Uh, on our website as well. You can get it with the year one bundle and with uh, the Giants eShop version of the game too. So if you want your your CR11 to be nice and shiny gold, uh, that's how you can get it. It's <laughs> indeed my favorite version of it. <laughs> ah, <laughs> it yes, of course. Nice. It's so nice. <laughs> all right. Uh, what else? Is that, is that all we have for now? That's it for now. Uh, uh, we'll show some more okay. stuff on the weekend. But... Uh, I'll be there. I, I, I'm looking forward <laughs> to it. And follow our social channels. You'll see more of what Stefan has to talk about, of course, coming out uh, after FarmCon as well. Welcome back, Martin. Stefan just showed us rice farming for the first time. I mean, that little bit of gameplay. I'm, you saved the best for last, I feel <laughs> like. Seeing that, I mean, the water was cool, the way the machines work. And I didn't expect rice to be like a multi-step process as well. You actually like grow the saplings in a greenhouse and then you grab those to plant on the field. Yeah, we kind of kept that from you. We <laughs> kept some surprise for you too, but you can, uh, of course, interact with the community now and talk about it. Yeah. Of course, uh, this is it for the Farming Simulator 25 coverage that we have on the pre-stream, but there's more coming this weekend. Make sure you follow all of our social channels. There'll be more coming uh, about Farming Simulator 25. And, you know, I can't wait for more, Martin. <laughs> we got one more thing from the weekend. All right. FSL Season 5 World Championships. Ah, uh, yes. Exciting stuff. Yeah. When, when is that? When is, when is it taking place, Martin? Well, tune in on Saturday, 4 p.m. German time. That's CEST. <laughs> Um, when our eight finalists fight for 200,000 euros prize pool. And of course, the title of world champions. Yeah, that'll be exciting to see who comes out on top. And uh, we're going to leave you with a hype video uh, to basically sign off today's stream. Martin, Stefan, uh, thanks to both of you for being here. It was it was an exciting time to see all of this gameplay. For now, we're going to hype up the episode no, 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 like we're really talking about. So let's roll that video and we'll see you uh, in the future. Yeah. Make sure to follow our social channels for more information. All right, goodbye. Bene ragazzi. Bene ragazzi. Allora, ovviamente il Farmcom, il primo Farmcom termina qui. 
eh, anche il video perché eh, ovviamente è stradurato tantissimo e, e anche il tempo è stravolato via però comunque devo dirvi la sincera verità che eh, ovviamente mi aspettavo veramente tanto 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 come questo e tanto altro ragazzi ovviamente qui c'è già il preordine vi ricordo dai miei link niente ragazzi questo gameplay anzi che non è un gameplay però questo vlog termina qui se il video vi è piaciuto mi raccomando lasciate un bel like e detto questo ragazzi alla prossima con la sigla ciao dalla regia ciao ciao